fellas, one of the most highly requested video ideas that I've had since I started at the start of this year is a hitting tits video. I did do a hitting tits video all the way back in MLB 20. You can see this video here. That's actually the highest viewed video on my channel, and I recorded it off of my PS4 back in the day, editing with Share Factory, and it absolutely blew up, and I loved it because I love helping you guys. That's what I love to do. All of my settings and stuff, I've already made a settings video. I will leave that down in the description box below. So if you want to copy any of my settings, my PCI, my cameras and stuff like that, all of that information is covered in that video. It will not be covered in this one. It is covered in the settings video already on the channel. So I'm just going to use the Jays against the Lombard Beast because I do believe that is the team that Randy Johnson is on. And that is who I want to uh, show. That's why I want to hit against what I'm showing you guys is because he's obviously the hardest pitcher in the game to hit. So I want to face him. Let's get into it. So one thing that I did not cover in the settings video, but I will cover in this video is the time of day that I play at. I play it two times a day. It literally just depends on if I want to play in the daytime or if I want to play in the nighttime whenever I'm playing. It will either be July 1 p.m. or it will be October 7 p.m. Those are the two best. I'm just going to do October just for the sake of the video, but those are my two go-to. Before people get on my ass for this, because people actually got on my ass for it on the last hitting tits video I did. I've been playing this game for seven, eight years, okay? And there's a lot of newer players and there's a lot of players that are new to the game and they're asking for help in certain things, which I love, that is my job. I love answering questions and shit like that, trying to help you guys. But the number one thing you guys have to understand, there is no way to just magically get better at this video game. You have to put in the time, you have to put in, you have to get the reps, you have to play it at a pretty high level. Like you got to, in order to get to that high level, you have to put the time in. I want to just get that out of the way before I actually hop into showing you guys how I actually hit and stuff like that in the breakdown. So number one, the number one hitting tip I can have for you is play the shit out of the game. So starting off, what I'm going to talk about is the number one thing, and that is kind of like what I'm looking at when I'm hitting and when the ball is coming in. So if I'm focused up here just against 99 Randy, say, and if it's a pitcher that I'm sort of familiar with and I know what pitches he throws, I'm looking just at where the ball is coming out of his hand. I'm looking at the release point. Where exactly is he throwing the ball from? So Randy's throwing the ball right about from like right here, about top right part of the zone, right where that little kind of blue fence is. So once I get the release point down pat, what I like to do, I don't like the PCI anchor. I like to just kind of keep my PCI middle. I don't really like to sit on stuff. I don't really recommend that you sit on pitches. I kind of, if I'm facing a lefty like this with a righty, I kind of like to start my PCI, not still, because you don't want it still, because you don't want your thumb just flat out on the controller. You don't want your thumb just completely sitting still right here because then you're just more prone to just slamming it or just flicking it down to a certain part or like to the edge of your controller. So just make sure your thumb is not completely still and just work your way towards the ball from the release point. But the biggest thing, the biggest thing in skill gap in hitting in this game is immediately recognizing what pitch is coming in. Being able to recognize which pitch is coming in is so crucial just because then you know what kind of swing time you're gonna need. If you can recognize that it's a sinker, hey, you gotta speed up your bat a little bit, but if he's tunneling you very well, and sometimes a sinker looks like a cutter, but if you can recognize that cutter, you know to wait back just that extra little bit. It's kind of unfortunate that I'm facing this version of Randy. I don't know why the offline version of Randy only has three pitches. It's kind of strange, but yeah, that's a little weird. I think online he has like a slider and a slurve, and it's just so much harder to, to see what pitch is coming in because his pitch mitts is so much better. So righty righty, so righty righty, I kind of like to just start it a little bit like middle in. Once again, I don't want to keep it completely still but i also don't want it like completely outside like the middle of the zone like i don't want to start it here i don't recommend starting your pci up here or, like down here just keep it middle in keep it fluent make good swings of the ball make sure you get to the ball but once again the biggest thing is being able to recognize which pitch is actually coming in and which pitch is coming in is the key i actually haven't played mlb in a couple days so if some of the swings that i'm actually making aren't great but this is more so just like a breakdown break like depth kind of video yeah a pitcher that you face before and you can see which pitch is coming in it's really a lot more difficult with sinkers and cutters in this game so if you can recognize a, a sinker and a cutter you're already halfway there pitch mitts is a very big thing in this game and that's the number one thing that's the number one biggest adjustment you have to make is those different speed differentials between 
pitchers like Musina or guys like that or something like DeGrom was like a 94 mile an hour slider. Like it, it's the adjustments like that that you gotta make. I don't recommend really spazzing your PCI around either because that will cause you when the pitch is actually coming in and I, I'm, it's just a bad habit, right? It's kind of like why, why in COD you just move your PCI around before the start because you're just like, you're waiting kind of deal. But the frequency of doing that, and if you do it at a very high rate, when the pitch is actually coming in, you won't track the ball on the way in. You'll actually, like, you'll catch your eyes just completely staring at your PCI and you kind of just like feel like you go cross-eyed almost. It happens to me all the time. So I just like have started getting in the habit more of just literally not doing anything before the pitch starts and keeping my PCI just dead metal. And then right before the pitch is coming in, just kind of start it like low and in work my way down and read the pitch. So one thing that people don't really go over as well is like certain spots when you're hitting. So a spot like this, two outs, oh, one count. I haven't really been following attention, like paying attention to like the counts and stuff like that so far, but uh, let me actually reset this and then we can actually like play a full, in a full inning. We'll start from the top of the inning with George Springer, Pedro Martinez, a shift is on now. Hopefully the first thing when they fire up MLB 23's premiere stream is that they say the auto shift is no longer a thing in the game. You have to make your own manual shifts. The auto shift is incredibly stupid, but it's just something that you just have to deal with. So you kind of have to be more prone to like being able to go away with the ball and stuff like that and being able to read outside pitches. So anything with Springer right here at the start of the game, I really like to see some balls, have some good at bats. It's a little bit different now the last couple of years just because pitcher stamina is incredibly like broken, it seems. But the first first batter of the game, at least like you want to have a, some good at bats. The first the first thing of the game, you don't want to have like a six or seven pitch inning where you have like two ground outs and a fly out or even a single like you know you want to have a good first inning it just gets your mentality right for the for the start of the game and for the rest of the game even even if you can just kick off you usually want to try and average around 15 pitches an inning that's my goal at least 15 20 and if you're getting anything past 20 that's a hell of a swing by george springer right there if it's anything past 20 pitches in, in like the first three innings you're on track to do amazing. 117 off the bat there from George Springer. I swear the exit velos in offline practice mode are insane. Like they're juiced. Spot here, nice, you let off with a double. Nice little lead off double here. Bo Bichette, you're just looking to advance the runner here. You're just looking to advance the runner here. You, you still wanna have a really good at bat. He may even just like kind of pitch around you. He has a base open, you know, watch you roll over. If there's a man on third, but there's two outs, he can just play for the out. So if you get on base here, it just means that you have to capitalize your next batter, but you still have to be wary and you still have to capitalize on your opponent's mistakes. Now in a spot like this with Pedro, fastball, circle change, slider, sinker, curveball. With the slower pitches like that, with the circle change and the curveball, you will be able to recognize those out of the hand fairly quickly, I would hope. And if you can't, head into practice mode, turn on fastballs, turn on sinkers, and turn on circle changes. And try and just have your bat ready so like you're not sitting on a pitch. I'm not telling you to sit fastball or sinker but I'm just saying, be ready for it. Don't sit on a certain pitch, but you have to just be ready for it. And sometimes that means anchoring your PCI inside and just kind of cheating inside. That's okay in that spot, but make sure if he throws a circle change that you're not going to be flailing at it like some people do, or hell, I even do it. Everybody does it from time to time, but that's another thing with hitting, learning to wait back on a pitch in a spot like this. That's a fantastic swing by Bo. That uh is i'm not gonna go ahead and tag up on that that was actually a really good swing too but i find offline the pitchers like tend to throw their main pitch like the x pitch a lot more so i might need to like kind of switch that i don't know if there is a way i can i'm telling you man there's no better feeling in this game when you dot up in a way pitch and you just smoke it the other way there's no better feeling it's so mwah. Starts me up with a fastball there, 0 1, not a big deal. We're just looking for anything to hit right here. A fantastic pitch. Okay, 0 2, we're in protect mode right now. Moving the runner doesn't really do anything for us. We're just looking, we're looking to read the pitch out of his hand and we're just looking to make a good swing on the ball. No, nope. change the eye level up there. That's a pretty solid 0 2 pitch right there. Even for one that's not a strike, like you're changing the eye level up, kind of throwing your opponent off guard, not really knowing what's coming next. Was it again? Okay, we're getting a little wild. We're fighting the 2 and 2. 
Good check there. Three, two. We're just looking. We're kind of protecting. We're kind of protecting everything, okay? We're still starting our PCI the same way. We're protecting for that inside sinker. We're protecting for that fastball. If he tries and dot us away, maybe we'll be able to read it. If he misses a spot, be able to take it, draw the lock. Or I can just get a fastball. Dude, I'm telling you, okay. That's going to happen right there. That's so much right there. Fastball down the middle of the plate, down the cock. Literally, if it's real life, that's being sent to orbit. But when there's someone holding one of these, a controller, and they just see that, and literally in your mind, you just go, oh my God. You literally will just go, oh my God. It's right down the middle. And then by the time you actually realize it, it's blown by you. So pro hitting tip from Goose. Be ready for the cookies. Now we're going to go ahead and do probably the thing that every single person that plays this game, this is, will be what the, the, everyone can say this is the hardest thing to do in the game. And it's hit lefty lefty. It's to hit lefty lefty. And because I picked the Jays and there's like literally almost nobody to use, I'm going to go ahead and use Raymel Tapia. Literally, it's like, don't, don't worry about what actually goes on in this practice. Okay. Or like if I hit home runs or if I get out, don't worry about that. Okay. I'm just trying to teach you guys and tell you guys what I do and how it can help you guys. So lefty lefty, I'm not going to lie. It, it is so much harder. It feels like the ball is coming in so much faster. So once again, we're going to get the fundamentals down. We're going to look at the pitch mix. You're going to see what kind of pitches you got. Rainey's got fastball, slider, splitter. Okay. Fastball humming. Lefty lefty fastballs. They're going to be humming at you. You're going to have to be ready to turn on and it's not going to be easy. It's not gonna be easy. I, I cheat inside. I cheat inside lefty lefty, I'm not gonna lie, but I, I do it because I just feel so much more comfortable doing it like that and being early on the fastball sometimes, but not being so early enough that I will be flailing at the off speed or just the slower pitches in general. And that's really my advice to you. You gotta kind of cheat on the hard stuff or just like the hardest pitch that you're gonna see. Lefty lefty, lefty lefty actually isn't too bad if it's somebody that's like throws a little bit slower. I feel like lefty lefty, with like a fireballer is a lot more difficult than like a finesse pitcher than say somebody like Keichel. I feel like somebody like Randy is much more difficult lefty lefty than someone like Keichel or even like a David Price. Still not easy in the slightest and I still struggle to like lefty. I, I, I just struggle normally in this game against lefties in general, whether if it's lefty lefty or I have a righty up. And that's just everybody in this game. If you look at anybody, nine times out of ten the people or just like you watching this video you're worse against left-handed pitchers in this game than you are against righties and it's just because that you just naturally face more righties and it's just it feels just more comfortable in your hands the way that you swing the bat so if you're struggling against the lefty or you can't hit lefty lefty man like don't beat yourself up that's another big thing too nobody really talks about like in these hitting tits videos about like the mental aspect that this that this game has it's insane you can be in the middle of the game and like dude you can lose full so easy in this game just because of kind of how fluky it is and how it's just not as rewarding it doesn't really make as much sense but you gotta keep a clear head when playing this game you gotta keep your head in the swivel you gotta keep your focus on the game and if some dumb shit happens it's hard man it's hard to regain but you gotta you gotta do it you have to i know it's only a video game it's not that deep bro it's not that deep bro but if you want to get better at this game and you want to get to the highest level and you want to get insanely better you got to keep a clear head you got to keep a clear mind playing this game anyway enough talking about your noggin let's get back into the lefty lefty talk so you want to kind of uh, you want to sell out for the hard stuff but something someone like randy randy randy's normal card doesn't have a sinker so you you don't really have to worry about like being as late maybe on inside stuff especially if you're cheating on it just because there's like the fastball doesn't like it's fast but there's not as much like vertical movement so you're not moving your thumb up and down you're just naturally more comfortable moving it side to side kind of for the fastball you know you still have to move it like up or down but like it, you know you're not like going like diagonally as well like if it's a sinker or a cutter like it's just it's just so much harder to hit a sinker or cutter lefty lefty than a fastball the biggest problem with me for for lefty lefty is the sliders and the cutters just because they're so hard to wait back on and like, they're just not easy to pick up out of the hand at all. They're just not easy to pick up out of the hand. You have to wait back on them a little bit. And, like, 
they can throw them outside like they're good outside and they're good inside because they can just fool you so much if you throw like a, a backdoor cutter here a backdoor cutter or like backdoor slider kind of deal i guess it's like front foot kind of but it, it's just it's so hard to make that adjustment easiest way to do it though man is just get the reps in get your lefty lefty reps in be, be patient be comfortable sit on the fastball kind of not sit on it but like you know be ready for it. Be ready for the fastball. Lefty, lefty, you would so much rather be early and just try and pull the ball than be late and, like, try and get a bloop. Like, you, you just genuinely in this game have way more success being early on the ball. Whether if you actually get a hit or you just foul off a shit ton of pitches. Early over late. Oh, Ray Tapia. Perfect, perfect. 33 power, and it's. <laughs> I just hit a perfect, perfect foul ball, and it didn't even go to the warning track. Holy. Raymel's got to hit the gym, buddy. You got to hit the gym. Let's face Randy for an inning, just in general. It's not just going to be lefty, lefty. I'm going to also take some cracks with some righties and see how we do. So righty lefty, I kind of like to do like the same thing I do righty righty. I like to kind of sit inside a little bit. Not so much like completely just like zone in on the inside part of the zone, but the first thing that pops in my head when the pitch is coming in is okay, be ready to turn. Be ready to turn out inside, but it's also another thing righty lefty. I sometimes cheat outside as well. And that's one thing that I haven't talked about yet in this video is the th another big skill gap in this game is picking up opponent tendencies and figuring out what pitch will be coming next i don't mean just like guessing or stuff like that pick up what first pitches are throwing if they're constantly leading off with like a first pitch outside sinker the first inning or like every so often then hey maybe that's just put in your head like if i can recognize that pitch out of the hand and i kind of like i'm telling myself that hey he's doing this a lot let's kind of let's zone in on it kind of let's keep that in the back of the head you're gonna have a lot of success picking up tendencies see what pitches they're comfortable throwing and what pitches they're comfortable throwing a lot of the time you can use back on them the pitches that they're comfortable throwing maybe the ones they struggle against but righty lefty you definitely have to be ready to go with the ball for sure or you can just miss another cookie sometimes like you just don't move your thumb bro Some, it's, 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 sometimes it just happens like there's nothing you're, you can really do with that 2-1k on here to bow we're looking for we're looking for the ched we're looking for the ched see like, just can't, uh, that's a pitch i gotta hit that's a that's the thing man Another thing, you really like a pitch like that. Sometimes it just comes down to, man, like you're going to give up runs and the game just flat out comes down to who capitalizes more on the mistake pitches, in my opinion. But look at Bo. See, ready to turn and burn on the freebie. That should be... No, that's one. That's one. I have awful base running skills as well. That's another thing, dude, is the base running skills in this game. You got to be a good base runner in this game. Fastball, ready to turn and burn on it. Let's go, baby. Something like that, man. Like, I didn't slam my PCI. I really followed it. I tracked it all the way up. You guys saw it. Tracked it all the way up. Up and in. Great pitch to swing at right there. Early on at 110 off the bat. Be sure to subscribe, fellas. We are creeping in on 2K subs as Randy just dots our life away. We are creeping in on 2K subs. Drop a sub. Turn on that notification bell. Every time I upload the videos in the shorts, you will be notified. Be sure to go check out the shorts as well. And that right there is why you don't have the auto shift on, ladies and gentlemen. Hashtag turn the auto shift off. Appreciate it, fellas. Be sure to drop any questions that you have down in the comment section below. I will answer each and every single one of them about the game. Be sure to go set, check out the settings video as well down in the description box below. Or just go check it out on the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.